Hello everybody. In this video, let us learn what interpolation is and let us learn about Newton's forward method of interpolation. So, first of all, what is interpolation and why do we need interpolation? I just uh, want to put it down to you guys as... First of all, what is interpolation? What is interpolation? When we have some data and we have to acquire more data about it, then interpolation is a useful process. For example, we have some data like uh, at 4, the value of when, when x is equal to 4, f of x is 6 and x is equal to 5 f, uh, f of x value is 7 and when it is 6 you have a table then with the process of interpolation we can uh, acquire more values so why do we really need interpolation when we can directly uh, guess things for example You have points, you know x1 and x2, and you also know the corresponding y1 and y2. You might ask like that, but what do we really want is, what do we really see here is, for example, x1 is known and x2 is known and we have to find y, the y value of a point called say x0 point x1.5 right the usual notion of any common man who doesn't know the process of interpolation would be join this this should be x1.5 so that will be y1.5 but because with the process of interpolation we can actually move a step further by having some formulas now how to interpolate how to really work out these problems on interpolation let us watch so to carry out interpolation for uniform data this is for uniform data there are Newton forward and Newton forward interpolation, Newton backward interpolation and Gaussian interpolation. This Newton forward interpolation can also be called as Newton Gregory forward interpolation. So these are the different types of interpolation for uniform data. The data is said to be uniform when the given x values are equally spaced. For example 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. These are x values and these are f of x values of x values can be 6, 9, 10, 12, 100, right? So these are, the table is said to be uniform if the data is something like this. So we'll learn about these interpolation processes one by one. Let's see Newton's forward interpolation first.